Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome to my kitchen. Guys, I am going to make a recipe today and the first part of it requires me having some tortillas. I didn't want to buy the low-carb tortillas. You can do that if you'd like. Uh, they do have a little bit more carbs in them. Um, so I thought I would go and Google some tortilla recipes. I came across a few and I thought, well, the easiest one appears to be Michelle Rock's microwave, one minute microwave. So I thought, hey, that's my kind of recipe. One minute in the microwave, yeah. Try it, guys, and let me tell you, one egg in her recipe didn't work for me. It was really thick. So I ended up using two eggs, and here's what it looked like. So I'm gonna try the recipe again. This time, I am like making very, very level measurements. So a very level one quarter uh, cup of almond flour meal. All right, so that's what this is, the almond flour meal. Then one level teaspoon of psyllium husk powder form. Then pepper, salt, and a few splashes of cumin. It's a Mexican dish, so I wanted some flavor to it. I, only, I used a very small dash, and you could barely taste it in this one. So I used a little extra. In fact, I might throw in another one just for the heck of it. I like cumin. Then she says one egg. Now, it could be the difference in the size of the egg. So what I did was I went ahead and used some of the liquid egg that I had this time to see if maybe that's the difference for it. So I have one quarter cup of egg added to the mixture. And she says three to five teaspoons of water. So let's go ahead and do one, two, three. All right, and let's try this mixture. Let's see if this one works out a little bit better. This one already feels different, Scott, different, guys. So I think the difference is the eggs. My egg was a very small, large egg, if that makes sense, but it was. And also using very level measurements. I'm using my microwave safe dish that I got from Walmart, spraying it down. And then she just spread some on her plate. Oh, huge difference, yeah, huge difference. Then she just kind of lets it go around the plate. Then guys, she smears it around a little bit more. Just kind of make sure that any empty patches you have, go back and kind of fill it up. And then stick it in the microwave for one minute, 30 seconds to a minute. A minute works great on mine. And here we go, guys. It's out of the microwave and check it out. That's pretty good. This is the one I just made and this is the other one that I made. There's not a whole lot of difference, guys. This does feel like it might be a little lighter in texture. Maybe a little bit more pliable, I don't know. They both feel good. So I'm gonna make a couple more and then we'll get started on the recipe. All right, guys, so you saw a meal prep that I made some ground uh, lamb. So here it is. I've taken basically nine ounces and it's got a lot of the good lard in there. We're gonna take this to our stove top and we're gonna make up some taco meat, all right? All right, guys, we have the nine ounces of our meat and here is gonna be to your own preference. This is a Mexican dish. So obviously I am going to want some cayenne I just kind of sprinkle, guys. This is one of those situations where I can't measure it for you guys. I'm sorry. But at least I would say, what, an eighth of a teaspoon? I love cumin, so there'll be a lot of cumin. I'm adding some chopped onion. This just keeps the carb count down a little bit by not using fresh onions salt and pepper to taste. So I'm going to try and use the last of my packaged garlic. And then let's just get it all mixed up. Now, because I did cook this 
and store the fat there. I'm not going to hopefully have to add a lot of liquid to this. If you find it's too dry, go ahead and add a teaspoon of water, preferably some bone broth if you have that, or a little bit of chicken broth. All right, guys, let's grab our cooked meat and put it back into a bowl. All right, guys, so from here, what we're going to do is take our taco meat. We're going to put this in the center of our tortilla. Wrap it up and put a toothpick in it. All right, guys, we're at the stove and we have about two tablespoons of bacon dripping. As these fry up, we'll most likely have to move the, to the toothpick, guys, just FYI, okay? So let's go ahead and take it out first. I'm gonna remove the toothpick, flip it over. Oh, look at that, we got a nice little crisp on there, guys. Hey, there's hope here. So that was about four minutes probably, guys. All right, let's let those cook up a little bit. All right, guys, so I've actually put these on their sides, stacked them up next to each other, kind of hold them down to get all the sides nice and crispy. I'm really impressed. Let me show you. These are really holding up. That's not going anywhere, guys. All right, so you guys get the point. If you want, you can go ahead and flip it on the next on the other side and get that cooking as well. All right, guys, we're going to take our three taquitos. Look at those. Oh. If you could smell how good these smell, guys. It smells like I'm in a Mexican restaurant right now. I am. Casa Alma. And here's where you get creative, guys. Start adding in your avocado, your um, pico de gallo, your sour cream, a little bit of lettuce, guys. Yeah. Check it out, guys. That looks good. And of course, the only thing that's missing is look at this, some queso fresco. Oh my gosh, seriously. I made a mess. All right, guys, ignore the mess. I'm gonna do a taste test. Kind of hard, kind of tricky. Oh my goodness. I don't have a fork. Oh well, that's what digits are for, right? Let me test it. Uh, yeah, that's good eating, guys. That is good eating. All right, guys. This recipe, you need to make it. You need to have this in your kitchen. You need to have this in your weekly meals. And you know what? We need to find out if this works in an air fryer. If okay, guys, same day. I've changed, though, into my robe so I can finish cooking because it's hot. And I want to take a shower. But I wanted to cook for y'all first. So what I've done, guys, is I've dipped my lovely taco in some bacon drippings. I got my brush out, brushed it all across. I put two toothpicks in here just to be on the safe side. We're gonna put this in the air fryer. I have lined my air fryer with a parchment paper. And we're gonna turn it to 350 degrees. Let's see it for about 10 minutes. We'll kind of check it periodically. All right, let's see what happens, guys. All right, guys. Trying to tidy up my kitchen. All right, guys, the timer went off. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Close that up. And here's what we have, guys. Maybe this sticks out. It sticks. Toothpicks, Alma. Taquitos, two ways air fryer, pan fried. And if you've got a deep fryer, Give it a try and let me know how it works out, guys. Put this on a bed of lettuce with all of your sour cream, your salsa, your avocado, everything that you could possibly want, guys. Give it a try and let me know. All right, have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.
Choice Wednesday. It's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.